All right, just to piggyback off of the last video, which I just changed the cabin air filter, I'm about to put in the Hellcat filter. If you guys see my last video, I did the Hellcat air box and uh, install, and I did. I haven't taken the bumper off yet, but I will here shortly. I did get the pieces. So here we go, LX3482. It is the Hellcat air box filter so we're going to get that there there's the top there's the bottom and what I'm going to be doing is taking out the K&N that I have in there now so I have a K&N in there and we'll be able to see that here in a second let me get the box because I'm going to have to put it back in there So just to give you a comparison to the to the regular, so there's the Hellcat joint. Here's the stock joint. Take a look at it. Two combined. There we go. So, let's do this. So, uh, I believe it's an eight millimeter, but I don't have an eight millimeter. I have a five sixteenths. So, five sixteenth works just fine. Uh -oh. Wrong bit. Good. And what we're going to be doing here is taking, let me move this over so I'm just taking up some room. Taking off one, two, and three. Three, right there. Take those off to open up your airbox housing. I heard some people say you have to take the reservoir out and all that kind of other stuff, you know, the cooling reservoir to get it in there. We're going to see. So what I'm going to do here is, is I am going to pull off the hose so I can have more maneuverability with the top housing. So I'm just going to pull the hose right off. Got that in screwed. And now I can just pull that right off. That way I don't have to worry about trying to mess around and get all in. So, got that done. You see me pull out this good old k and oil, high performance oil, air filter. They said this is like 780 CFMs and the Hellcat is like a, close to 1100. So I should see a difference here. We'll see. So let's go ahead and put this in there. I can see how they say it doesn't fit properly. If that rubber is really thick. First of all, let me look at this seal down here. The seal is still holding pretty good. Feels sealed off. Okay. I can see this one does have a thicker rubber than the other ones. So it's gonna take some maneuvering. So let me maneuver it a bit. It's just thicker, that's all. The rubber is really thick compared to the other ones. But if you see, so I'm gonna show you what I just did. Yeah, that's gonna go in there just fine. So what you have to do is with this, let me show you. The rubber back here is like, you have to pull it and stick it. 
Same thing here. All you have to do is just make sure that the rubber's around because it is definitely thicker. It doesn't just slot in there. So you just take your hand and pull the rubber back a little bit and push it in. And it sits in there fine. So let's see how difficult the lid will be to put back on because people said they had a real issue with getting the lid on. And I see because this kind of like springs up in the middle. It's not laying completely flat, but we'll see. So you put your three hooks in. Do you get the hooks in? Hold on. There we go. Put your hand in the back. Just make sure your hooks get there. And then just line up your screws. Not too bad. That rubber tip is definitely going to help you because I can see how that would be an issue. I can definitely see how that would be an issue. So I'm just gonna look. Yeah, look sealed. I'm gonna feel around. I don't feel any gaps. Yeah, I don't feel any gaps in between the housing. Everything's latched back there. Yep, it looks fine. So yeah, follow that tip, guys, when you do it. Uh, put the rubber, you know, push the rubber in. But I definitely can see how that would be an issue if you are uh, trying to install it and trying to get the, the stock cap back on. But it fits just fine. You just have to make sure. I would definitely advise unhooking this. That way you can really maneuver it. And when you put your clips in on the back side, the one, two, and three, just put your hand behind it and push it in. And then just line it up and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna be getting about 11, I think it said 1,055. About 1,055 versus the 780. And even when it's dirty, it's still doing the same as the K&N. And that's really one of the reasons why I uh, did it. One, because they said you get better gas mileage. Two, they also said that you uh, with the dirty filter, it gets the same as either the Canyon or the stock SRT filter. The stock filter is only saying 478. So I was already increased by 300 with the Canyon. This is going to jump me another 300 or six overall from the stock. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see how that is when I drive it. I'm about to go driving. I got to go drop off some packages for some uh, orders for my pomade business. As you see, my waves aren't looking all the way good. I just washed my hair, but I did. Hold on, let's see. Let's go back. Um, I do have my pomade business for that, you know, for waves and stuff. So let's just make sure you're going correctly. Yeah, it's on. It's all lined up. Okay. Yeah, I got to go to the post office and drop those off. Thanks for the orders, people. Uh, they won't be on this channel. They're on my Ocean Drop web, web page. But this is my gamer and car channel. I decided to combine them together. Uh, to me, I can see need to change them and one of the next videos you'll see here is me going in and uh taking the bumper off and putting the snorkel on you know what i do have that so i can show you guys i, I put the part number in the uh hellcat earbox thing but i uh when i, when I get the video done which i can't wait because then this will be truly sealed. I'll be 100% excited. So let me open up this box. Uh, so I will be installing this, which is the shield. And I will be installing this inlet tube in the next video. And as you see, these go just like this. And that's going to be connected here and go straight into the box. So. Until then, oh, also, when you order this, uh-oh, where did it go? Oh, no, airline. There was a hook there. 
later. Anyway, there's a clip. I'll show that clip in the next video. All right, have a good one.